wrestling fans, this tag team event, it is set for one fall. Introducing team number one in the ring, first from Northport, Florida, weighing 231 pounds, Bob Cook. His tag team partner, hailing from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing 234 pounds, Paul Dre. And their opponents, Theodore R. Long presents for three, Ron Simmons, the team of doom. They are indeed big and bad, but those comments from Paul Ellering not only talked about Sting's knee injury, but also he talked about Theodore R. Long, who may be in for a long night, especially this Sunday night in the Omni. Oh, come on now, Jim, you know as well as I do that Theodore R. Long has Paul Ellering's number. You heard Paul Ellering admit that he has suffered the same type of knee injury in the past as Sting has. To me, that means that Paul Ellering is not capable of taking a perfect physical specimen like Teddy Long. He's a specimen, all right, of which Jonder will not get into. There you see one of the most powerful teams in the sport today. Hacksaw Butch Reed, look at that big stud. I'll tell you, there's Ron Simmons, the four-time football All-American from Florida State. They have their sights set not only on the Road Warriors, but also the World Tag Team Championship, and they're certainly capable of winning those titles in my estimation. Well, they're no strangers to the Steiners. They've gone round and round with the Steiners before, but I say now that Doom is looking better than ever. They're on the track, and with Theodore R. Sugar Ray Long leading them, they could very well wear those World Tag Team Championship belts. Just my opinion. Referee Mike Atkins, the official of this event. There you see muscular Paul Drake. And the high five from uh, Simmons and Reed, better known as Doom. Yeah, Paul Drake, he may be muscular, but next to Ron Simmons and Butch Reed, the muscles on his arms look like mosquito bites on a strand of spaghetti. That's pretty small. Darn small. This crowd here is certainly uh, very vociferous here in Canton, Ohio. Well, look at that rocket scientist. He's got his camera around his neck. He's going to document the activities tonight here in Canton, the home of the National Football League Hall of Fame, which we enjoyed earlier today. You think that's his camera around his neck or a flea collar? I kind of think it's a camera. Peanut hair, that's the chant. Well, I'll tell you what, we're kicking off a great weekend. We'll see NWA tonight in Philadelphia, 8 o'clock, and tomorrow night in the Omni. 7.30 starting time in the Omni this Sunday night. And don't forget, uh, beautiful Bobby wanted me to mention it. Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Beautiful Bobby's birthplace, as you know. The NWA is going to return. And speaking of returning, oh! Good night! Paul Drake going for the pin right here quickly. Right hand right to the kisser of Ron Simmons. And Simmons with a headbutt. Man, he is a powerful man. They have proven to the world that they can match up very favorably on the physical side with the Road Warriors. There's a power slam. Well, I think that initial malfunction at the junction has upset and perturbed Brother Ron Simmons because he has taken off on Paul Drake with a vengeance. Simmons, big and bad, as we said. He was number 50. An outstanding nose tackle for Bobby Bowden's Florida State Seminoles. A four-time All-American there. Finished eighth in the Heisman Trophy balloting. And here comes Butch Reed, who was an NAI, All-American linebacker, and played for the Kansas City Chiefs. So these guys are great athletes. Street fighting style, that's the way they like it. High impact moves. They're not going to counter too much. They're going to block moves, and then they're going to assert themselves. That's what they do best. Did you get a good shot of Sugar Ray Long out there? Look at that suit he's wearing. James Brown got out of jail and gave that suit to Sugar Ray Long. That was his Sunday go to mess hall outfit. Oh, please. I know Teddy Long's involved in the free James Brown committee, but I didn't know they were that tight. Paul Drake needs to make the tag in the worst way. Dropped off like it was just a, 
a $5 sack of groceries, and that's not very heavy. Well, he needs to make the tag in the worst way. And knowing Paul Drake, that's the way he'll make it. Outside he goes. Let's see if Theodore R. Long or Simmons out there take advantage of this situation. Ram his head right into the uh, railing. Drake is an outstanding competitor, but he has been unable to get all the blocks here. And now, once again, they're keeping him from the tag. Reverse neck breaker. Hey, not down, not down, not down. Teddy Long says, don't pin him now. There's really no reason for this at all. Sure there is. They don't work by the hour. They're sending out a message. They're having a little fun. They're enjoying themselves. That's a good workout for Doom, preparing themselves not only for the Road Warriors, but also for the World Tag Team title. One, two, three. Come on, get out the man's throat. Camera's taking you right inside the ring. The sights and sounds of World Championship Wrestling here. Oh, Drake really being punished by this outstanding combination. And these two guys have to be considered as bona fide threats to the Steiner Brothers World Tag Team Championship. Anybody would have to be considered as a bona fide threat to the Steiners as far as mental capacity is concerned. These guys are a lot smarter than the Steiners, and I have a feeling that they are going to have a game plan that's going to enable them to take advantage of those two punks. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, still to come in the program. I'll be talking to Lex Luger. Jim Cornette will be talking to Ric Flair about their upcoming rematch for the World's Heavyweight Championship. What will it take to settle? One of the most dynamic feuds in all the professional sports. High knee by Hacksaw Butch Reed. And again, Paul Drake, who has been in this match the entire time for his team, is in a lot of trouble. In jeopardy of being pinned here. Shoulder block off that second turnbuckle. And this will be all Doom victorious and convincingly so. There are your winners, the team of Doom. Well, I think this is mighty nice of them. Just so Bob Cook, who didn't get the tag into the ring, doesn't feel left out. They gave him a little action after the match. There you see what happened at the conclusion of this one. Doom so dominant, they won a World Tag Team title matchup. And we'll be back. We'll hear from Ole Anderson. And we'll see the Steiners right after this timeout. 